I want to give you a quick introduction to an accessibility inspector that's shipped in Firefox that you may not know about that could be very helpful in being able to actually understand what's going on with accessibility in your website. It's just the beginning of a long set of efforts that are underway, uh, but even in early days, it's actually can be pretty useful. Let me show you an example here. I'm on my labs.jensimmons.com website and this particular demo, it's not really accessible. Let me show you what's wrong with it. I'm going to go into dev tools, which brings me to this inspector where I've got HTML on the left, CSS in the middle, other kinds of things on the right. And if you notice these higher level tabs up here, there's one now for accessibility. And in fact, I can drag it and put it right over next to the inspector and see them next to each other. I'm actually going to also turn this on so that we can have the accessibility inspector running. It's not going to run by default. When it's running, it kind of slows things down and nobody wants a slow browser. So it's off by default, but you can turn it on, use it, and then turn it back off and speed your browser back up. If you look here at the HTML pane, which if you've ever used DevTools, you're probably pretty familiar with, I can come and see that in fact, I've got a HTML element inside a body element. And in there, I've got this header, header element. And inside the header, I've got an H1 with a class of site name. And in here, I've got the word, graphic design, but I've broken up graphic design by wrapping every single one of these letters in a separate span. I've also got a navigation, an empty div that I put a red box on, which I probably could do a better job of. Um, an image here, this image of Beyonce. My alt text says Beyonce looking fierce um, and some main content and stuff. So in some ways, this is pretty good. The uh, HTML semantic and it's in a good source order. So screen reader, this is sort of the order in which a screen reader should read this stuff. What we're seeing here in the HTML panel is not what I wrote necessarily. When the browser creates a web page, the first thing it does is read your HTML page. Now maybe your HTML page actually got created by a content management system or some sort of build tool or by a React application, or there's some, there may be things that are creating some sort of an HTML document, but in, well, no matter how it happens, when an H, uh, HTTP request is made, a HTML document is returned, an HTML file that is, exists, even if only for a moment it exists. The browser then takes that HTML file and it makes what's called a DOM tree. Maybe you've heard about DOM manipulation or when you think about JavaScript, you think about the DOM. There's a DOM tree that gets created. And sometimes the HTML in that original document and the DOM tree are identical, but sometimes they're not identical. So when does it get changed? Well, it can get changed if there's errors in your HTML, if there's mistakes in your HTML. The browser is going to do its best job to fix those mistakes. Maybe you were missing a closing tag and the browser will add it, or maybe you had some sort of thing out of order or a little bit wrong, you know, things that aren't allowed in HTML. The browser is going to make a few adjustments in order to um, make the DOM tree. Also, if you have JavaScript at play, JavaScript's going to start running and it's going to alter the DOM tree. So you've got this DOM tree. And then the browser takes the DOM tree and it builds what's called an accessibility tree, which is another tree. Uh, it's, different than the DOM tree. They might be very similar, but they're not quite the same. And so a screen reader is going to actually read the content that's in the accessibility tree, not the content that's in the DOM tree. And up until now, we really haven't had a way to see the accessibility tree the way that you can use DevTools to see the DOM tree. But that's what this accessibility panel is going to give us. It's going to give us accessibility tree, a way to visualize the accessibility tree. And so I can see here that in fact, I've got uh, all of these different nodes to the tree. And in here, I've got, uh, well, what's going on in here? Well, there's a landmark, there's a heading, there's a text container with a G in it, a text container with an R in it, a text container with an A in it. And this is basically going to read aloud in a screen reader, G, R, A, F, H, I, C. That's not what I want. I want it to say graphic design. But because I put spans around each of the letters, it now, the accessibility tree sees them as separate letters, one letter words, and that's not what I want. So I'm going to fix this using ARIA rules. I want to use ARIA hidden equals true in order to hide this G-R-A-F-I-C thing. And then I'm going to use an ARIA label to put the words graphic design back into place so that the accessibility tree has the words that it needs. So let me come in here and put aria hidden equals true, and then put up here aria 
label equals graphic design. And let's save this. And then let's look at this in its own page. And we can inspect it with the accessibility inspector and see what the results are. So I can see here, in fact, if you look at this original demo, um, we've got this document, we've got this heading with all of these letters in here, separate letters. Uh, and then we've got this landmark with a list, which is in fact our navigation. And we've got a graphic with alt text Beyonce looking fierce. So this is good. We can jump to the heading, we can jump to the landmark, we can see a list with a list item and with a bunch of links, a list of links. Um, and this is the text that will get read. Uh, this is just the problem that we want to fix. So we come over here to the new one and we say, oh, look, we still have this graphic, Beyonce looking fierce. We still have this landmark with a list with our whole uh, menu in here. And now we've got the words graphic design. So that's much better, although I don't have a headline anymore. It doesn't say heading the way that it did before. So really probably what I need to do is come in here and add another div around these letters and put aria hidden equals true on those and an aria label on the H1. Or maybe I would completely rewrite my CSS in here and rejigger my grids and change because if I add a div in here, it's going to change the way that my layout is working. I have to rejigger everything. So I'm not going to do that right now, but you get the idea. I can use this accessibility inspector to double check and see whether or not I'm getting the results that I want and help guide me in my HTML to make my HTML as accessible as possible. Even though I don't have a screen reader handy right now, I don't, I don't have a copy of JAWS or something. This is a great way to just look at the accessibility tree and see, oh, are we in the neighborhood? What's missing? What might be right or wrong? We can also come here to where it says check for issues and we can search. We can look for all issues or contrast issues, keyboard issues, text label issues. Um, there's also information over here that we can see what's going on. If you are an accessibility expert, you might know what a lot of these things mean and you can double check on whether or not these are the right results. If these are the results that you want to get. Firefox's new accessibility inspector. I hope that you use it and that it's helpful for you. If you have ideas about how to make it better or things that you find annoying, or if you find any bugs, um, the bugs really should be filed on Bugzilla, but any suggestions that you have about the tool or requests or questions that you have about the tool, please put them in the comments for YouTube on this video. We'll make more videos or I'll pass along that feedback to the folks who made this tool. They'd be love to hear from you and figure out ways that we can make this tool better.